shoes have arrived and I'm gonna try them out. This is the Bondi X. Never tried them before. Did just a little bit of quick walking with them. We're gonna see how well they do on a very long run, um, depending on how much I can run in this heat. It's pretty hot today. That'd be cooler, but it's not, it's not cooler. My history of shoes follows, well, those are sketches. I don't use those for running, never did. Don't even use those in general. We got the Bondi 7, another Bondi 7, and now the Bondi X, X for extra money. <laughs> That's what I say so far. So even before my run, my initial thoughts are they're not as squishy or comfortable. Uh, I hate to say comfortable, just not as like soft as my uh, other shoes have been. The Bondi 7 are very soft, very plush. These ones are a little more resistant, so I don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference or not, but I'm, I'm gonna find out. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too bad. There they are, they're on my feet. They seem okay. Uh, yeah, I can definitely feel the support of them. Can I not hold my leg up for more than two seconds? Used to be able to. Uh, there you go, okay. Uh, yeah, so you got a decent heel. <laughs> I'm a, Oh, let's sit down. Where's my balance these days? Uh, okay, so you got, yeah, you know, a lot of uh, heel there, a lot of sole, some sole. And I'm gonna not go too tight. I might have to go a little tighter there. A little flexible. And, you know, it's hard to compare because I run these things down to where the heel's just, just disintegrating. I mean, this is not how it started out. So that's what I've been kind of used to lately. Uh, no heel at all. Yeah, and now I'm back to like a nice big, it sticks out way there. Like, that's funny. They really do. I guess modern running shoes are supposed to look funny, but there you go. And um, yeah, we'll uh, see how they do. No place like running a half marathon. With the super warm weather, we're going to go liberally with the 100 uh, sunblock. Will it work? I hope so, because I got to keep my skin safe. Uh, I'm not going to wear a shirt. Why would I? And of course, I'll be carrying water, lots of it. Uh, this isn't enough for the whole trip, but there are water fountains along the way, so I can just refill, drink it, pour it on myself, wear it as a, as a you know, coat or something. But I stay cool on these runs, even though, yeah, it's very warm outside. Shades, because my future's that bright. I know I use that joke every time I talk about shades, but are there any other jokes for shades? So let's put these on. Eh, work really well. And today I brought a little snack. This is kind of a, I don't know how much it helps. It's supposed to help a little, but it's a little reward for like getting a certain amount of miles. It's like, I look forward to that candy. So just keep on running, you'll get candy. You know, forget heat stroke, there's candy. And another thing, keep my head from that blistering sun, that is probably salt water right there, uh, is the cap. Now, uh, black's probably not the best color in the world, but I like my Raiders cap, uh, so I use this one a lot. My other one, it's almost re unrecognizable. It's got so much use, uh, but let's let's use this. They say, uh, you know, those new earbuds work really well, uh, the Sony and Bose, and I'll tell you that, all the, unless it has these little rings around, it's gonna fall out of your ears. I, I've tried them, they, they last a while. Uh, you also have this anxiety that it is gonna fall out, and eventually it does fall out. So with these guys, they never, ever fall out of your ears. They may have to get kind of pushed up a little bit once in a while, but, they work really well, so uh, I am a huge fan of these guys. Uh, I mean, the sound's not as good as the other ones, no ear noise canceling, but that's probably best when you're out running and need to hear traffic and uh, bikes and other runners and dogs and stuff. Not sure if I mentioned chapstick, but yeah, I definitely gotta wear chapstick too. All that water and evaporation, and uh, I have this. This is actually from a flight recently, a little amenity kit, but it works, it's chapstick, and it's also really light enough to bring with me. Oh, and another thing I like to bring along is little paper towels, a couple like half sheets of paper towels because, uh, yeah, you sweat a lot in the heat. Turns out when it's hot, you sweat. So these are kind of good to keep the salt water that's also now mixed with the sunblock uh, out of your eyes and, well, out of my eyes. So yeah, these are good. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing of all, the running watch. If I didn't have my running watch, I would not go running. So you've got to have the running watch. This is, it's all about the running watch. I have to track it. Otherwise, why do it? All right, this is it. I am totally ready to go on my, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm kind of hoping for half marathon, but we'll see. I'm all decked out, glasses. I, I've already explained everything I'm wearing. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna win any fashion contests, but yeah, I wasn't going to anyway. So let's go on a run with our brand new shoes and see how things go. Okay, six, well, not quite, 65.75 miles done. 
It is hot. It's uh, probably still 90 something, 93, whatever. The shade is helping. I've been finding shade to run in and it's the breaks and the water, uh, but I did return to base camp so I can fill up my water with some cold water. Assess how I feel. Do I want to go back out? Can I go back out? And if I can, I'll, I'll see if I can get to the half marathon point, but I'm just taking it easy just to make sure uh, that my body can handle it if I'm still okay for this. So right now undecided. So this deer was actually across the street a few minutes ago until he saw me, this family, eating right from the lawn of the uh, house across the street, right over there. So now they're like looking at me like, oh, when do we get to get back for dinner? As soon as I leave, I go to the kids. That's, that's kind of cool. Eight miles in and it's okay. It's, it's definitely warm. I think we're still at 92 or 93 degrees. So, uh, yeah, it's hot. It's not as bad. I mean, the difference is once you get past 100, I notice like there's a, like a constant stream of water coming down my face. Not even from me pouring water on myself, but uh, just sweat. Uh, that makes it harder. But uh, a few other joggers on the trail, which I'm actually kind of shocked. So I think it's because it's cooling down a little bit. Correction, one other jogger that I saw, she jogged that way uh, when I sat down here. And a few minutes later, she jogged back that way. Uh, and then started walking. I think my guess is he went out for a jog and realized it's pretty hot for that today, which maybe I should have done, but eh, I think I uh, uh, like to commit to things. Do we have water? We have water. Oh, we have a lot of water. That's cool. And it's warm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it doesn't help so much, but better than no water. Anyway, this is the part of Pleasant. It's really nice because uh, it kind of feels like you're in this little, uh, I don't know, forest to some degree. Not so much in this part because there's roads, but when you get down in those trails, it's pretty cool. I've now reached my little oasis. It's this, uh, this I call it kind of a secret park. Not too secret because there's a bunch of people like throwing like a party or something, a uh, picnic. But uh, yeah, well, what can you do? The word got out. Interesting, it's down a wind, I guess, south of the sewage treatment plant. So yeah, when the wind's blowing that way, um, it doesn't smell the best. Looks like some hawks out there, maybe crows. No, they think they're hawks. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, this marks 10 miles, I'm on the 11th mile, and I'll be heading back, I won't be going out any farther, but still, it's still like four or five miles from home, so I gotta at least do that. There'll be some walking though. Uh, and I finished my candy, so no more treats. No more treats until I get home. But this has been like uh, over two hours. I think it's two and a half hours so far. Um, so the sunscreen, I think, is holding up. I hope. But I put another layer on earlier. Um, none on the arms, I think. I can't really test it out, but I think my arms are holding up pretty well because I don't want to get burned anywhere. But at, these, at this point, I usually don't have to put sunscreen on my arms unless I'm just lying flat and not moving, um, or in an uh, equatorial country. Then it's wise. All right, let's go, huh? back to running. The little oasis with a water park that is a misnomer because it has no water. Although it could have water when there's no drought. And this is my bench. I was sitting over there, but there were ants. Um, and I have a feeling there's ants on this bench too, but what can you do? Yeah, it looks like the water comes down there and goes under there and goes through there into the creek and it would be so cool, but <laughs> there's no water. Although I would think if it's a water park like this, they'd recycle it, so I'm not sure how all that works. Uh, oh well, I uh, won't be finding out today. All right, well, that's it. That is 13.1 miles. Um, most of it ran, a little bit of walking uh, and uh, a lot of uh, water was drunk. So hopefully that was enough, but uh, yeah, nice to be able to do a half marathon again, I guess, even though it wasn't particularly fast. But the shoes, that's what it's all about. We're supposed to talk about the shoes. The shoes did help a lot. Uh, I did notice the difference. But again, I'm comparing, like, I don't know, uh, eight-month-old Hoka's that the heel's halfway gone to a brand new pair of a different brand. So it's just impossible to know. But I know that it does make a difference. So I'm glad I did get my new shoes. Uh, yeah, waiting too long is just not, I mean, it doesn't kill you, but it also doesn't help your runs at all. So uh, till next time.